Uh, this is an assembly video for the 3.1 generation breakboard trucks with the new flat rotors and new wheel lock system. Firstly, take your trucks apart into its two separate main pieces, the base and the hanger. And also disassemble the pedal, so you've got your base piece and your pedal top. Now if your deck is dropped through, you won't have to worry about the hole, but if you've got a standard mount, you will need to drill a 16mm hole through your deck. One of my other videos will show you the best way to do this. So anyway, uh, start off by grabbing the pedal base plate. This deck, by the way, is my complete 2016 new breakboard deck. This is custom little uh, cut out for the pedal. Right, this is the pedal base and you've got two options. You can put the bolt up through the base as such or put the nut in that position. The difference is if you wanted to remove the pedal, uh, leaving the nut in the base leaves a flush mount. Uh, for, but if you're not going to remove the pedal, this is the better way. Uh, don't forget to put the nut there because you'll put the whole thing together then have to pull it apart again. Uh, so grab your four deck bolts and slide them into the deck holes, whether the mount you have, traditional or the longer. Right, and grab just the base plate and slide it onto the screws and get your nylock nuts and tighten it all up. Um, of course I provide the skate tool with the box sets or with the completes to make this fairly straightforward. Right, this next step is probably the most critical in the setup, setting the plunger length. Now this is the standard plunger, it comes in two parts, a black nylon cylinder and a bolt with a ball joint head. Now the parts designed to uh, fit various thicknesses of deck or we'll be using small risers. Uh, this deck is 12mm and no riser, and that's the minimum for this plunger. You just uh, pop it in the hole with the ball joint pointing up. Now if your deck's thicker or if you're using uh, small urethane risers, you need to add washers between the two parts to extend the length of the plunger. If you're using a really large riser, uh, I do have these extension bolts if you wanted to use one. Right, the next step is to fit on the hanger. Now it's a little bit tricky. Uh, first put on the conical washer, line up the hanger with the pivot point and midway through you put the bush behind the levers and slide it on the tight fit but it does get there and while you're sliding it on you've got to get the pivot cup onto the ball joint. So grab your barrel bush and the flat washer and put it on the roadside, grab the kingpin nylock and tighten to your desired tension. You will notice as I'm tightening the trucks lower themselves into position. This is actually can put pressure on the levers pushing onto the plunger. If the plunger is set right the gap between the body of the truck and the rotors won't change. If you see the rotors starting to push out, it means that too much pressure is on the plunger and the plunger is actually too, too long. You'll need to shorten the plunger if that's the case. Also, you've got to check the plunger is long enough and that it's up near the top of the pedal base, like so. So if all is good with the plunger length, the next step is to fit your brake linings to your wheels. It comes in the new lock system, comes in two parts and three small 3mm screws. First thing is to get your wheel and put the brake lining into the back of the wheel hub, lining up the th three holes with the gaps in the wheel hub, like so. Squeeze it tight and put a bit of pressure on it so it's nice and firmly in place. Grab what I call the locking cap and line it up in the slots of the wheel. It's a nice bit of a tight squeeze. Grab your tool such that it's put a bit of weight on it and make sure it pops all the way in. 
Right, grab the three small screws and place them into recording holes and tighten with the Allen key provided. Don't over tighten them, just do them evenly across all three. If you do them unevenly, you can put the lining out of alignment. So just do them finger tight, balanced across all three and make sure they're nice and straight. Okay, the next stage is to set the gap between the brake lining and the flat rotor. The piece, that's the flat rotor, this piece here is called the spring nut, and you can turn it by hand, it, it adjusts the gap between the two. Now you will need one racer washer here, uh, one or more is fine. So, grab the wheel, put the bearing inside the housing or on the axle, whatever you prefer, and make sure you've got a bearing on the outer side as well so the wheel sits straight and spins true. This time you can check now to see if your lining is sitting straight. Now the gap between the two needs to be one millimeter or less. Uh, you can just do it by eye, it's good enough. And you just do little quarter turns until you think it as close as possible, but still free spinning. Uh, make sure the wheel is all the way in and see that still, that gap is still there. Last of all, put the outside racer washer and the outer axle nut. Now I, I tighten the nuts till the wheel starts to slow down, so a bit of load on the bearings, and then back quarter turn. And sometimes spinning the wheel while you do it is a good way to see if you're too tight or not. Okay, and then the final step is to place on the pedal bush, the pedal and its nylock nut. Now, the tension of the pedal is critical. It needs to be tight enough so it's not rattling around, but not over tight. An over tight pedal will restrict its movement and you won't get much braking power. It must be able to be pushed by hand all the way down to the deck. Uh, you can actually this way you can test the brake and see that both wheels are functioning and balanced. If they're not, uh, you'll need to do some adjustments. Um, good way is to test it on a nice smooth surface, uh, riding the board backwards of one foot off the board. You can put a lot of weight onto the pedal to see how much braking power it, it is having and see if it's balanced between the two wheels. The brakes and this setup are designed to be very gentle. They're not designed to look up the wheels, they're meant to just control the speed. Uh, if you're wanting a complete lockup and a skid, you'll need the pedal extension, which is another video. Right, this last segment is for troubleshooting plunger length. The plunger is, has a minimum uh, deck thickness setting of 12mm, though some decks are thinner than 12mm. Uh, one way is to cut both these parts down a few mil. Uh, like cut three mil off and use a washer or two to back it up if you wanted to. Though that can be a bit of a pain in the bum. So um, I've added a couple of washers. And to use these, you just place one or two underneath the deck side bush. This will raise the hanger and give the levers more room so you don't actually have to adjust the length of the plunger. This is quite useful for drop through decks where there isn't any uh, adjustment in the plunger. So yeah, please try this out to solve your plunger length issues.